All right, so this is the scratch hologram I made. You can see that there's a, let me turn on the light. There's a few scratches all over it, but when you turn it slightly, you can see the Ghost Recon skull, depending on the uh, perspective. It probably gonna increase the radius because you can see that the head seems kind of large compared to the bottom. Probably make it wider. As you turn it around, you can see that it looks like the Ghost Recon skull with the Ray is being too small to actually show the, the bottom part of the jaw. We can see the, the cross column elements on the right here. And turning it, it looks like it's, it's three-dimensional almost. Basically, the radius isn't right, but the, uh, the design itself that I made using pixel art, or not pixel art, just a bunch of dots, lends itself to create the Ghost Recon Skull quite well. You can see right here that as I turn it, you can see the, the monocle on the right and the, the mouthpiece. Depending on the angle, it gets wider and thinner. But yeah, and you can see that it relatively resembles the skull except at the bottom. So what I'm going to do next time is probably going to increase the radius so that it's smoother across so that it gives a, a wider berth than this really weird triangular skull shape that resulted. Yeah. I mean, for, for eight bucks a plexiglass and a compass, it, it made a pretty good skull, and this is just a, a scrap piece of uh, plexiglass from my uh, Crosscom project, so probably gonna scale it up to maybe four by four and see how that looks blow it up to like four inches by four inches. Hopefully that'll come out pretty well and much clearer than this. But this is just a proof of concept and it worked pretty well.